It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we're nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this last day's church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. We appreciate all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue as we are here watching with you and praying with you. As the signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we're nearing the end of this age of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we're looking for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus and it's time to get ready now. There's news where a sniper attempted to assassinate U.S. President Trump at his campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where the sniper fired several shots at President Trump, whose life was spared by just a couple of inches as his head was apparently grazed by a bullet that hit his right ear. This is another dark day in America as violence continues to spiral out of control in a country filled with division and conflict that is becoming overtly hostile, even resulting in this another attempted assassination of a U.S. president. President Trump today was speaking in his open-air campaign rally at the fairgrounds in Butler, Pennsylvania, when suddenly rifle shots were heard, with President Trump jerking his head and grabbing at his right ear. The president, then realizing what was happening, instinctively went down to the floor behind the speaker's stand, and then a bevy of Secret Service agents ran to him and covered him. And then, Secret Service counterattack snipers took out the sniper assassin. However, the sniper fired several shots with some reports saying that about eight shots were fired, which those shots not only clipped the president but also hit citizens in the rally crowd were unfortunately. It's reported one spectator was killed and two others wounded. The president was evacuated from the stage by the Secret Service, where he was seen to have a bloody right ear and blood streaming down his face as he was taken to a local hospital where he was examined and thankfully it was announced he is going to be okay. But there are some serious questions that have arisen from what has happened, where there are reports not so much in U.S. media, but starting in international media, where there have been witnesses interviewed who stated that they were standing on the far edge of the wide open fairgrounds near some metal buildings and that they watched the shooter with his rifle only about 50 feet away from them, bear crawling up the roof of the building to take his position for the shot, which during those five minutes, they said that they were hollering at the police and the Secret Service and pointing toward the shooter, saying that there was a man with a rifle up on that roof. But only after the sniper started shooting did the Secret Service sniper see the shooter and return fire killing him. So there are obviously questions to be made and answers that need to be given about what happened. This attack by a shooter who law enforcement officials say was then killed by the Secret Service. This was the first attempt to assassinate the president, our presidential candidate since Ronald Reagan, another Republican president. And this comes amid a deeply polarized political atmosphere just only about four months from the U.S. presidential election 
and just days before Trump is to be officially named the Republican nominee at his party's convention. Already, this assassination attempt on President Trump has contributed to the rancor as those on one side of the divide ask how could this have ever been allowed to happen, and also saying that this is the end result of the hateful speech toward President Trump, saying that Trump must be stopped at any cost, and some saying that they tried to impeach Trump, then they sued him, then they prosecuted him, and now, although tragic what has happened, they say it's not a complete surprise that this has also happened. While on the other side of the divide, there are those saying that this was all staged just so to help Trump win the election. And even some who horrifyingly said that he missed. Why did the guy miss? Testimony to the fact that a terrible era of hateful violence is now manifesting in America. One of two things will come out of this. It could be a moment when there is a realization of what is happening in America and that there needs to be a move away from hate and conflict and a move toward conciliation and decency for the sake of the country. Or this will be a further escalation in the waves of increased offensives, anger, and conflict that can lead to a further divided states of America that can become so ruptured that it can no longer stand. This Signs of the Last Days ministry has now for several years been forewarning of the signs in this society and also of the signs in the heavens concerning this president. The signs in this society have been warning that a country first established on the foundation of the Word of God and made successful by the Lord God, that it cannot kick God out and put his word out, putting God out of their schools, out of their institutions, out of their public square, and then in its place, institute sinful abomination into their laws and into their institutions. Without their coming waves of evil chaos and violence, coming in like a flood that will wash them away into history. And we have pointed out repeatedly that the signs in the heavens are strong concerning this president, where there have been both blood moons and solar eclipses associated with this president and with his presidency, as we have forewarned of the danger of judgment and the desolation of America unless there is repentance. Just imagine for a moment what would be happening tomorrow in America if President Trump would have been shot in the head, assassinated today. That is what we were just a couple of inches away from happening today, and it could have triggered offenses and incriminations that could have built into an unstoppable tsunami of violence that would have washed across this country, that could have weakened our house to the point where it could no longer stand. As Lord Jesus prophesied, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And this stands as the prophetic destiny for the future of America. As this republic is in prophetic danger, unless there is a repentance turning back to the word of God in obedience. Please, 
Let us all pray for this. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream. As our Watch and Pray broadcast, that is live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Amazing prophetic signs are happening now in world events. And for the Bible believers of Lord Jesus, is telling us, as Lord Jesus said, to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs of the times are everywhere. There's a brand new feeling in the Draw 